Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today is going to be a declutter. I've finished the makeup portion, but I do have nail polish. I really want to go through. I haven't decided if I'm going to do this with other categories of things because I'm not really sure how I would approach it, but I definitely wanted to go through my nail polish because the last time I really like did like a big sweep through of my nail polish was when we bought this house and I wanted to make sure I wasn't like moving bad nail polish in. And that was January, 2019. So this is very overdue on top of it. I was just like pulling them out for this video. And I realized there's like a lot of brands that are very old to the point where like, I don't even know what year I bought them. And they're brands I don't even reach for when I'm going to do my nails. Also, I do a lot of nail wraps these days. So I made sure to include those in this video too, because they are technically nail polish, even though they're just like one time use, I do get more wear out of one set of these than I do like a single like nail painting session, I suppose. Basically, I have this bin here full of nail polish. Oh, nail polish is a lot more heavy than makeup. And I also have this bin here full of nail polish. So my assumption is this is gonna be a long video. My camera's probably gonna overheat at some point. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of the nail polish I own and a big declutter of it, then keep on watching. Let's go. So this is a lot to go through. I already know just like off the bat, I wanna get rid of any polishes that are from Five Below. I definitely was getting Five Below nail polishes many, many years ago. Like I couldn't even tell you how long ago. I think I have some here that are from Forever 21. Again, that's another company where I couldn't tell you the last time I bought anything from them, let alone nail polish. There's a bunch of sinful colors here. I really don't like that brand. There are some where I can really tell that they're just like completely dried up. I'm gonna probably have to open most of these to see if they are even usable. My cats also have the zoomies and are attacking each other. So we also get to deal with that in this video. So I'm basically just gonna work my way across just like I did with the makeup videos and we'll see what we get. So first, this one I can first of all tell is very dried up. This is from Love and Beauty in the shade Blue Jewel. And this is a Forever 21 nail polish, meaning it's probably close to a decade old. So it's definitely time to say goodbye to that. I mean, like before I even shake these up, you can tell they've just been sitting for years. This is actually, or was, I should say a scented nail polish. Again, from Forever 21, they did this in collaboration with um, Alex's Lemonade Sand and it was called Neon Pink. And I think it was like strawberry scented, if I recall. Again, this one has got to go. This is probably one of my newer nail polishes. It's from the brand, what's it called? Deco Miami. This, see, Scott got me a bum box when I was pregnant and he also got me like a newer mom box at one point. I think it was in the, the Mama Needs box but this is probably one of my newer ones. It's cute, it doesn't take up much space, so I'll be keeping that. This one is from Edest, New York. The shade is called Eau Cabana Boy, which is such a strange shade name. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue. I don't really have anything else like this. I definitely got this in an Ipsy Glam Bag, and I will be keeping it. Here is a Sinful Colors. Again, I couldn't tell you the last time I bought Sinful Colors. This shade is Fool for Azul. I definitely used to wear this one very frequently, but I just don't like the longevity of this. And especially now, I really don't like having my nail polish chipping when I live with somebody who likes to eat everything near me. This is another Forever 21 shade. This is the shade Navy, very creative shade. I remember really liking these Forever 21 nail polishes back in the day, but they're just so old. I understand that they have seen better days. I have some, some Sally Hansen Insta Dries. I really think this one might be one of the oldest ones I have. This is the shade Retail Therapy. I just checked the formula, it seems fine. I like the Insta Dries for really quick moments. I don't think they're like the best of the best, but in a pinch, they do work. This is the Fresh Paint brand. I know this is a Five Below brand. And I guess for me right now, I have a lot of concern with like nail polish that's this cheap. I just worry about what ingredients are in it as well. And if it is chipping, I really don't want Phoebe putting it in her mouth. I've had these for so, so, so long. Like, it's okay to say goodbye. This is another Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is the shade Strawberry Heat. Actually, this is a very, very frequently worn shade by me. Probably of all my Insta Dries, I wear this one the most frequent. I like that it's like a really vibrant red. So I will be keeping that. Here we have another Insta Dry. This shade is Espresso. And I really like this shade. It's a nice kind of like mauve-y pink shade. I, I wear it frequently as well. 
So this is from the brand Zoya in the shade Karen. And this came in like a best of beauty box I bought a few years ago. I like it, I don't love it, but it's not bad and I'll keep it. I do have a few KL polishes. This is the shade 1435. And I really like KL Polish and Lights Lacquer, and I only ever bought from both brands once, so I will be keeping all of them from that brand. Well, those brands, I should say. This is a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. I don't even think I've ever tried this, but like, it's just like really not good looking in there. This shade is called White On, and I'm just gonna get rid of it because it just, something's not right. This is the Lottie London shade. Oh, I guess it's called Riot. It's this really pretty royal blue. I don't remember where I got this from, but I will be keeping it. This is an Essie polish. The shade is lots of Lux, but I think, yeah, I think it dried out. I can't even like open it. It's so old, so that's gonna have to go. This is a light lacquer shade in Cold Turkey. I will be keeping this one. This is a L'Oreal polish. I literally can see that it is completely dried out just like looking at the sides. This shade is called Two Dimensional. It's very sparkly, but also it's gone bad. This here is another fresh paint. The shade is called Dorothy. And I really like that it's like this like chrome looking pink, but again, it's that Five Below brand. It's really old. I don't wanna risk it. So this is the old packaging of the Insta Dry, and it's actually the same shade as that other one I just showed you, Espresso. I think I bought this one originally, and then like a while later, my mom got me the other one. So it's the same shade. I didn't even really realize that I kept both but this one is much older, so I'm gonna declutter this one. This is a KL polish in the shade Zima, I think, and I'm gonna keep that. My collection grew so much, I forgot my parents got me these Mickey Mouse polishes when they went to Disney World last time. So this one has like little Mickey gems in it, and I would love to be able to use this, so I'm gonna definitely keep that. On to the next row. So I bought this collab that Bailey Syrian did with Loud Lacquer. What year was it? Was it 2019? I think it was 2019. I really like the shades like this. I, you're not gonna be able to see. It's like a black with purple glitter. Like the colors are so awesome and I really like the way they look. However, the polish formula just, it doesn't last. Like it looks awesome, but I haven't found that it has longevity to it. So I'm gonna keep them, but because of my feelings on the formula, I have not ever purchased from the brand again. Here we have another Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is the matte formula in the shade Blue Steel, I do like this. I will say, however, if you wanna get the effect, you can't put a top coat over it unless you have like a special matte top coat. Otherwise, it just winds up shiny in the end. This is my only Ella and Mila shade. I've actually made quite a dent in this. It's the shade called Barely Pink. It's like a very like simple color. I feel like it's getting washed out because it's so light, but it's kind of like a very pale pink. I like this. I've tried their top coat and I liked it, but the top coat went bad after like a year for me, so I wouldn't buy it again. But yeah, I don't have too many just like, neutrally shades, so I will keep this. I definitely have to get rid of this. I don't even know when NYC, this brand, like stopped existing, but I feel like that should tell you how old this formula is. This shade was called Royal Foil, and it literally was like a metallic, like pink, and it was so cool, but I might have been still a youth when I got this, so I'm going to have to get rid of it. This is another Sally Hansen Insta but it's one that I don't like. It's the shade Burnished Wine. It's one of their matte formulas, but I don't know. It just, it doesn't look good once I put it on. Like I feel like it looks really cool in the bottle because it's like got like a duochrome kind of effect to it, but it doesn't really work on the nails, I feel like. So I'm gonna declutter that. Next, I have another one from Forever 21. This is called Coral Gold. It was literally a coral that had like gold shimmer in it. I liked it, I didn't love it. It, it, I can tell it has a lot of like wear in it. Like it's, I can see the, yeah, the usage on the side, but like I said, I'm getting rid of all my Forever 21 polish. This is a sinful color in the shade Galaxy and it is kind of just like green glitter. Again, I'm not impressed by this formula. So I have another, oh, I didn't even say what the shade of this Bailey Syrian was. So the black with the glitter was called Really Barb and this okay. yellow one is called Nay Nay I Say, I feel the exact same about this. I like the colors, I don't love the formula. This one is like weirdly separated. This is from Julep and this is the shade Stephanie. I don't really wear a lot of like silver and I think I already have one silver I'm gonna be keeping so I'm gonna declutter that. This is the Funky Finger brand which was from Five Below. The shade was called Galactic Blue so I'm gonna declutter that. This is another brand I really don't like, China Glaze. This was the shade High Def. 
I don't know where I got this from. I'd never buy China Glaze, so I'm gonna declutter that. This is another fresh paint in the shade Starburst Galaxy. For the same reasons as before, I'm gonna declutter this. I can't remember where this one is from, P2 Volume Gloss in the shade Happy Bride, but I think I'm gonna declutter that as well. This is from Lights Lacquer, and this is the shade Emerald. I will be keeping this. I don't love this formula, but I haven't found a white that I love, so for the meanwhile, I'm gonna keep this one. This is from Terra. The shade is literally just called number two. I'm pretty sure I bought this from, um, what's it called? I forget, I bought this online somewhere, but I just, I'm not impressed by the formula, but Right now it's what I got to work with. This is my favorite most used nail polish I own. I always have it on my toes, no matter what time of year. NCLA shade is called, call my agent. I forget where I got this. It might've been a subscription box or something, but it's my most worn shade I own. This is completely disgusting and nasty. It's like for nail art from the brand Art Club. It's a gold glitter. It's disgusting and getting thrown out. This is also one of those Mickey polishes my mom got me and it is a white. So maybe this one will be better than the other white. I'll have to give it a try. Now I can go through the dashing divas I have. Currently I'm wearing Midnight Blue. I did get this one at TJ Maxx. These three are from TJ Maxx slash Marshalls. These four just bought at Ulta. I have, nope, just kidding. These four, <laughs> oh my gosh. These, there we go, I just bought at Ulta. This one is shimmery. This is pink opal, blush suede, and moody mauve. And this one I bought at Target. This is baby pink. I've worn, I've gone through baby pink like two or three times already this year. It's such a good neutral staple shade. So these are from, this one's from TJ Maxx. This is the shade Poppy Power. This is the shade Pixie Dust. This is also shimmery. It's so hard. This lighting is crazy. And then this is called City Nights. I have used one of these styles before and I try not to get them because my nails are so small. It's really hard for me to wear any of the designs. Like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in this light, but like there's always like design pieces in these bigger ones and my nail beds are so tiny that I can't really wear the designs. So this is probably the last one of these I'll buy. <laughs> this is from Essie and this is their hard to resist nail strengthener. I actually just bought this like uh, I think two months ago. I like it, but it does have this like red pinkish hue. So when I wear it alone, like my nails look like a little bit diseased. I'm so sorry about the crazy demon sounds coming out of Luigi. I have no control <laughs> over that. This I got in an Ipsy bag last year. This is Pretty Woman in the shade, put a cork in it and keep that. This is a duochrome from KL Polish in the shade Medusa. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick up the color shift. This is also one I got from Ipsy. This is the brand Misho Beauty in the shade Diana. I'm gonna keep that. This is another Loud Lacquer with Bailey Sarian in the shade Suspish. This is a Funky Finger, so I will be decluttering it. This shade was called, oh, this was Alex's Lemonade. You know what, this one was also with Alex's Lemonade and this one smelled like lemon, I remember that. This is the current top coat I use. I do like it, the Orly top to bottom. I, you can use it as a top or bottom. It's lasted better so far than the Biella and Mila, so I do like this. This is a KL polish in the shade Ocean Drive. It's very like shimmery and pretty. This is an OPI shade called Rich Girls and Poe Boys. I wear this one pretty frequently, honestly. It's probably one of my more frequently worn polishes. This is the other in the Mickey Mouse set. It was the three polishes, so I gotta try it out. <laughs> this one came in an advent calendar. I'm gonna declutter it. It's from the Sephora collection. Does it have a shade name? It Girl. I need to clutter that. This is the final shade from the Bailey Sarian collection. Like I said, the colors are so cool. I wish the formula was better. This is called Red Rum. Here we have another Funky Fingers from Five Below. It is looking nasty as anything. And this shade was called Jawbreaker, which it really did have like this jawbreaker kind of coloring to it. It was really cool. This is the KL Polish in the shade Peanut Butter. I don't have a lot of browns, so it's nice to have a couple of those. This is KL Polish in the shade Cafe Disco. Love the reference. This is a Funky Fingers in the shade Sugar Plum Fairy. Going to get rid of that. I just have to show you this, like completely dried up. I don't even think I bought this one. Sally Hansen, Pat on the Black. It's like a purple, I don't know. I didn't buy this, I don't know where this came from. This is the Toma Chromy color in the shade. Does it, even, it doesn't even have a shade on it. I think this is as old as that NYC one. Like this one I think is from my youth. I really liked this chromey kind of color and apparently they lasted pretty long, but I know I have to get rid of it. 
This one I recently got in Nipsey. It's from the Complex Culture brand in the shade Dream. It's like a goldish green shimmer. It's actually really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. Oh boy, I have sinful colors from when they did a collaboration with Kylie. This is pre-Kylie Cosmetics, so you do the math. This shade was called ooh, Cool with a K as a cucumber with lots of Ks. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is pretty old, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I used to do like regular nail polish and then put a gel top coat over it and uh, like bake it in a little oven, but I don't know. If I was gonna start doing that again, I would wanna get something fresh. This is very old. This is an OPI shade called Climb Every Castle. I definitely didn't buy this. Um, I don't usually buy baby pinks, but I do like this shade and I do occasionally wear it. This is the Pretty, Pretty Woman polish in the shade Sweeter Than Honey. Got this in an Ipsy bag, I will be keeping it. This is the silver I was saying I have. It's a Sally Hansen Insta Dry called Silver Stallion. I will be keeping that. This is the Edes nail polish. I don't know the shade of this and I don't remember where I got this. I must have gotten it in a subscription box. Um, I'm not really sure, but I will be keeping it. This is a really old one. Again, I don't know where it came from. It doesn't look great. This Sally Hansen manicure, I don't remember buying from this line. Right said red. I don't really feel like I need this. I'm gonna declutter. I have this Essie polish in the shade A-List. I don't remember where I got this, but I will be keeping it. I don't really have many deep reds like this. I have this tiny little, what is this even called? I don't know what this is. I can't read it. This, something tells me like I got this from like Wish or something forever ago, and I'm just gonna get rid of it. It scares me. This Sally Hansen Insta Dry is old and nasty. It's going. This was called Rapid Red. This might, this is, this is done. This is very done. This is another five below shade called Taffy Town. I'll be decluttering that. This is another Misha Beauty that I got in an Ipsy bag called Worthy. I'll keep that. This might be the only purple shade I have slash I'm keeping. This is Essie Go Ginza. Again, I don't remember where I got this. I don't usually buy pastels, so it usually means somebody gave it to me. Probably my mom, I don't know. This, I cannot identify. This must be from somewhere very cheap. I don't know, I'm not keeping it. I'll have to get rid of that. This is another Forever 21 in the shade, let's see. Teal, the shade names are iconic on these. I have this Debbie, Deborah Lipman. I think I got this in an, in an Ipsy. It's a very nice like muted shade called Modern Love. This is a KL polish in the shade Jane. I'm keeping this. This is not a shade that I really love. Again, I don't think I bought this. This is OPI Ready Poseidon. Is that like a, let's see if you use that as gonna focus. Is that like some sort of a funny thing? I don't know. I'm not keeping it. Here is another very, very old, highly separated sinful color in the shade Red Eye. I'll be getting rid of that. I'm pretty sure I got this shade in one of my first ever Ipsies. It's from the brand Sundays. Then it's shade is just called 44. I didn't really like it. This is the current base coat I've been, ooh, this is the current base coat I've been using. It's from Essie and it's just their smoothie base coat. I, it seems to work well. This is a shade I like to wear in the fall from OPI. This is called You Don't Know Jacques. Here's another fresh paint from Five Below. I'll be decluttering that. This is another pretty woman I got in an Ipsy bag. This is shade, this is called Oh My Gourd. Oh, I need to whip out some of these fall colors once I'm done with this <laughs> This bright blue. This is from Lights Lacquer and this is the shade Misfit Toys. I'll be keeping that. This is another Funky Fingers from Vibe Below. I'll be decluttering. This is Lights Lacquers and I'll Be Home. I'll be keeping that. Here we have another Sinful Colors. This is Purple Diamond, I will be decluttering. This is Nail Medic in the shade. Why is it so hard to find shade names on some of these? I don't even see the shade name, but I think I got this in the Ipsy I'm gonna keep that. This is Light Slacker in 11, I'm gonna keep that. This is Complex Culture in the shade, oh, Thrive. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. I do like that they get different kinds of brands from Ipsy. It's nice to try different formulas and not just have like the drugstore formulas. This is an, an Essie that I got like for as a free sample to try and I really didn't like the shade. Say it ain't Soho, I don't know. I don't mind orange, but this orange metallic never looks good. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of that. Here's another Kylie sinful colors. This one was called Taupe is Chic. What a name. I'm pretty sure this was my most worn Kylie sinful color. This one was called Purple Craze, of course with a K. 
I feel like I got this Trust Fund Beauty shade, Kiss Kiss Darling, in an Ipsy bag, and I didn't really like the formula, so I'm gonna declutter. This is just like a cuticle oil. I really don't use these, and if I do use cuticle oil, I just like use like regular oil. I don't really do this, so I'm gonna declutter that. This was in my Allure Best of Beauty video, the Essie Expressi from Essie, in the shade Scoot Scoot. I like this, I don't love this, but I will be keeping. Here we have another Deborah Lipman that I got in an Ipsy bag. This is a shade Odana I will be keeping. And the final shade is an Essie, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's completely, it's uh, it's not doing well. It's like a, a glitter foily kind of shade called Summit of Style. So let me see if I can total these up and let you know what I kept versus decluttered. I'm sure with these bins, it's hard to get an idea, but it almost was 50, 50 right down the line, not even intentionally. So I calculated that I kept 52 polishes. I didn't add these in because they're just one time use really, but 52 of keeps, 40, 60 clutter. So I mean, 50 of polishes is obviously still a lot, but I'm glad I got rid of the ones that are bad or like I'm not really super comfortable using around Phoebe. And I have now like more of like a refreshed collection, just like my makeup. I, like I said, I don't know what I will do next if I do another one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this nail polish declutter. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications and my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.